Hi, I'm Adriana and you're watching my channel Spiritual Awakening with Adriana. Um, today I will be telling you a bit about René Descartes. I'm, uh, I, I apologize to the French people because I don't speak French and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, I will be talking about René Descartes' uh, evil demon. He was a French philosopher. He was born in 1596 and he died 54 years old in 1650. Mm. He was not only a philosopher, he was also a mathematician, scientist, generally he considered one of the most notable intellectual figures of the Dutch Golden Age because he lived in the Netherlands for a um, better part of his life. His work, Meditations on First Philosophy from 1641, uh, continues to be a standard text at most uh, university philosophy departments. Uh, Descartes' influence is in mathematics is equally apparent. He has an entire coordinate system named after him. It is Cartesian coordinate system. And also his credit is the father of analytical geometry, uh, which is basically the bridge between algebra and geometry. It is used in the discovery of infinitesimal calculus and analysis. Descartes was also one of the key figures in the scientific revolution and he was quite an innovative individual and uh, he wanted to part ways with all ways of thinking in his work. We could explore his work uh, and contribution to the science for hours basically, but today I will, I will talk just about uh, one thing, the concept of evil demon that he introduced or malicious demon and evil genius as it is sometimes called. In his meditations on first philosophy, he's talking about an evil demon of utmost power and cunning. And uh, he sees that uh, this evil demon has employed all his energies in order to deceive him. Um, this evil demon is imagined to present a complete illusion of an external world. So that the cards can say, I shall think that the sky, the air, the earth, color, shape, sounds, and all external things are merely the delusions of dreams which he has devised to ensnare my judgment. I shall consider myself as not having hands or eyes or flesh or blood or senses, but as faithfully believing that I have all these things. Some of the Cartesian scholars also think that the, this being is omnipotent, but Descartes himself rebu rebuked that. Um, well, at least some sort of. It, it, it's not a very easy question to answer, but um, I will today concentrate just on my understanding of that. Um, Descartes believes in the deceiving God, and he arrives at the belief that some malicious demon um, of um, utmost power and cunning has employed all his energies in order to deceive him, uh, deceive me. So these are his his words. Uh, he believes that being able to think is what defines you as something, but at the same time doubts if that really is so. Because it, if there is someone extremely powerful, he calls this being malicious deceiver who is deliberately trying to trick him. There are differences in understanding of his work and God and deceiving demon um, and uh, sometimes God and deceiving demon can be perceived as one and the same and for the purpose uh, of this com contemplation I will take them to be the same. I mean, th this is not uh, like some comprehensive phil philosophical analysis of Descartes. This is just my understanding and what I, uh, some of the ideas and things and emotions that I have come to while meditating on the question. So, um, if you research a bit for yourself, you will demon, um, for, uh, you, you can do it the, by yourself um, and uh, reach your own conclusions. My thoughts immediately went to the simulation hypothesis and how well it could uh, explain all his doubts. Uh, if we really are just uh, those holograms that are not only that, then it is not only the suspicion, but uh, it is also the fact that all around, uh, all the world around us has been created to trick us and to present reality that there is in fact not. And uh, if you remember the Plato's allegory of the cave and prisoners with shadows, it also bears a striking similarity to the simulation hypothesis. However, I believe that the nature of the being of the divine uh, plan 
uh, that created all of this. Uh, in my opinion, uh, first of all, it it has to be omnipotent. It is uh, when you're playing the Sims game, you are omnipotent for them. Uh, that being must be aware of all and able to read our minds as we can re read mind of Sims in the game. And uh, this being cannot be evil. That is my firm belief. The very nature of that being has to be good, uh, even though that being uh, necessarily will not have the same understanding of good and evil as we do. Um, and uh, what is the difference between us and uh, if there is someone who created this simulation? Uh, well, we are mostly bad to be sincere. Uh, most of the human race is very much and very often bad in so many ways. And uh, it would really imply that this other world from which the simulation is being projected must possess qualities that are beyond our understanding. And in all directions, technologically, morally, um, in kindness of the heart and uh, in evolution of their consciousness, uh, having such a complex simulation must imply that those running the simulation must be superior in any conceivable sense. And uh, they could not for sure be measurable by our, our ordinary standards of good versus wrong. In the end, the main question that is being asked is what is the purpose of this simulation if we are living in a simulation? Uh, that is, what is the purpose of uh, life on Earth and in universe. The evolution as it is thought of in a sense of evolution of species for me is a bit shallow. I believe that the main goal um, of the simulation has to be the evolution of our consciousness so that we can be able to ascend to the next level of understanding and being. And uh, evil demon in that sense is not only not evil but the best thing that can happen to us. I have a very vivid imagination I must say and uh, I'm also a writer. And maybe I, I went too far in my guessing and also I'm, I write, I'm writing a novel and uh, I'm, I really hope you like what I'm uh, uh, telling you about uh, my views on the simulation and on the possibility of uh, us being part of some bigger divine plan. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, hit the like button on the video, hit the subscribe, hit the little bell that appears when you hit the subscribe button. If you click the little bell, you will also get all the updates from the channel, which are basically uh, every Monday, but uh, I might record some videos sooner uh, and quicker. And um, have a very a nice day. Uh, be successful in all that you do be loving and understanding to all the people around you because we all just want to be happy there is not a single being in this world that wants to be unhappy and if somebody is behaving in ways that just gets on your nerves just uh, live to live with it and um, make other people happy and make animals happy make everybody around you happy and be happy Thank you. Bye.